Meanwhile, the presidency has come under fire for its uh, spokesman Femi Adesino's comment that the government isn't interested in naming and shaming suspected financiers of Boko Haram. A security expert believes uh, Asurok Villa has something it's hiding. But President Mahmoud Barish's team says they would rather allow investigators do their duty. Our correspondent Justin Tobiku reports. This is not the first time that names of Nigerians will appear in terror list by United Arab Emirates. Some were tried and convicted in 2019, and barely a year after, six Nigerians were jailed by the government of United Arab Emirates for founding Boko Haram. Yet another set of six have been placed on the list by authorities of the Gulf country. In reaction to this development, the presidency says it is not interested in naming and shaming sponsors of terrorism. This response did not go well with the opposition party PDP as they resulted in pointing accusing fingers to the boy led government to sponsoring and shielding terrorism. For the government to say that they are not ready to name and shame them is an insult on the generality of Nigerians. And what it shows is that perhaps the government knows more than what we think they don't know. And what it shows is that the government is deliberately inflicting this hardship, this insecurity on Nigeria. Security expert Terence Quonom, who agrees with PDP, says government has an ulterior motive. In a clear case of a conspiracy, uh, uh, because we cannot be suffering from money, from that monumental insecurity, our Interpol uh, have also gotten a list of 43 names submitted to the National Security Advisor, and they have come out to tell us that they are not interested in releasing those names. But those names are going to be released. We are sure Nigerians about that, and we are going to navigate with the international community, and they will compare them to bring their value. However, Chairman Buari Media Organization Niyi Akinshuji is backing the government saying the proper investigation needs to be done before any hasty decision. DDT, of course, to our mind, you know, uh, 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 well grounded in uh, being comical in their responses and reaction to uh, issues in the environment. We are talking of being serious minded here. Yeah. So you name and shame, what, to what, to what, for what is the benefit? Meanwhile, law enforcement agencies in UAE have been directed to take necessary actions against the individuals, entities, or anyone associated with those listed. Jacinta Obuko for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.